Nation been like uh, to the new spot? Oh, it's been great. You know, the culture here, uh, you know, how welcoming everyone has been. And, you know, we got a great group of guys. Our guys work hard. Um, we're, we're very talented, and our guys every day attack the day, in, whether it's meetings, it's weight room, it's out here at the practice field. Uh, I'm real excited about everything that's been going on. It's been like for you, I mean, being out in the Big Ten and back working with Joe, I mean, what's kind of this uh, these last few weeks been like? It's been great. It's, uh, you know, Joe's family, you know, having a chance uh, back at Springfield where I met him and then, you know, working at Maine for four years and getting a chance to come back and work with him. Um, I'm excited. You know, he's, you know, how smart he is, how hard he works, everything that he brings to the game and the culture. And then same thing, being back here working for Coach Chiano and working here at Rutgers. You know, I'm excited. It's, it's an uh, exciting time for football right here. Young room, but you have two veterans in Tyron Powell and Deion Jennings. How, how much have you leaned on those guys, their experience, and what have they been like in, in camp so far? You know, those guys have been great. We got, you know, we do have some guys that have played a little bit, whether it's been on special teams, have been, you know, in our base packages or our third down packages. But our guys, you know, um, everyone's competing right now, everyone's learning. Um, you know, and our guys are doing a great job. It's been older guys stepping up and, you know, communicating with the younger guys, helping them through certain techniques, working through their fundamentals. And then even those older guys coming in, getting extra work, whether it's been, you know, taking care of their bodies or getting extra film or, or um, you know, getting extra work on their game. Uh, they've really been working hard there. And, uh, you know, I think we've been seeing improvement really from all the way from per, uh, first practice till today. I think we've seen huge strides so far. Has anybody really stood out to you at linebacker and what have they done to maybe to stand out? You know, right now, I think overall, like I just said, I think our group has made huge strides. Um, you know, Deion Jennings right now is doing a really good job. Tyreem's really starting to step up and communicate. Um, but overall, I think, you know, some of our younger guys are really starting to step up. They're starting to understand their fits. They're starting to understand um, where they are, you know, uh, coverage-wise, where their relationship is to the coverage and the, uh, the receiver. But, you know, I think everyone's been taking that step, and I think we're continuing to grow. And I think, you know, even today's practice, the way we came out and then the, week, the way we handled the end of practice, to see a couple of those guys struggle early on and then kind of put it behind them, learn from it, and grow. You know, I was excited to see the way that we finished that. There's a couple of young guys, Anthony Johnson and Moses Walker. I mean, what are kind of your earlier impressions on them? You know, both guys, uh, the way that they handled the weight room early on and then the way that, you know, they love football is the first thing. Uh, both of them. You, you see, like, you know, the way that they attack the ball in practice, the way that they run, um, the way that they handle the weight room, their nutrition, just, you know, growing into the culture and, uh, you know, buying into the environment. Um, real excited about those guys. And same thing, you know, early on in practice, those guys misfit a couple things. Later in practice, we have the same play. They go out and fit it the right way. Uh, so seeing strides every single day. But the biggest thing's been, you know, uh, being able to handle adversity, doing something wrong or learning from it, and then being able to handle that. That's one thing that we've uh, really seen some, some growth in that area. And, you know, we're excited about both those guys. I think they can contribute uh, on this team, and we're excited about it. Recruiting wise, what's kind of your philosophy and your personal approach to, to that aspect of the game? You know, we want guys that are, that are going to play physical. We want guys that are going to swarm to the football. Um, you know, we want guys that love football. You know, we, we want guys that are around the game. Uh, they love to be here. They love to be in the building. And, uh, you know, when they come out, whether it's a Tuesday practice or, you know, sold out stadium here, that's what we want to see. And that's what, you know, in recruiting, we're going to go get. But guys that are fast, guys that are relentless, and, uh, you know, guys want to have fun and swarm to the football. And what's it been like working for Cociano? It's been awesome. You know, uh, having a chance to work with someone, you know, the, the amount of knowledge he has and, um, you know, the every meeting is, you know, a learning experience. Get in there, understanding what's going on, whether it's a situation or, um, you know, really whatever meeting it is. It, it's been um, a huge wealth of knowledge and it's, you know, it's always a learning experience, but it's also been great just, uh, you know, hearing the way he teaches, hearing the um, styles and then how we relate to the players and then really the culture. That's been one thing that's been, you know, having a chance to understand the culture, learn from the culture, and then see the way that the guys on the team and the coaches and everyone's bought into it has been something that's really been, um, you know, rewarding to learn so far. What would mark a successful spring for you when you get to the end of camp? What do you want to see that makes you would say, this is, we, we did a good job here in these 15 practices? You know, we want to improve every day. We want to make sure where we started in practice one and where we finish practice 15 after the spring game, we want to see improvement every day from the group. Um, you know, it's going to be in communication. It's going to be in technique. It's going to be in the fundamentals. Um, but that's been, that'll be the number one thing that we look at is making sure every day we improve and our guys are playing faster, you know, every single time we take the field.